Everybody loves America's favorite pastime, especially when the pros end up doing something goofy. Here are 20 of the most humiliating plays in baseball. Number 20. After the batter successfully catches one of the pitcher's attempts to get him struck out. Anderson will catch it. You know what? He'd catch it if it was underneath the halo, but it's called off! He should have got it! The pitcher would have hoped that his teammates would have his back. Nope. That would not be the case as Kim Anderson fumbles his catch. As if that isn't bad enough for the poor guy, he then takes the ball right in the face. Number 19. As bad as that was, the last fumble didn't cost his team the game. Torkelson well off the line at first, and Tim takes the ball away and slightly gets away. Nobody can find it, and the mystery ball is a Sox win. However, we cannot say the same for this guy. As much as that hurt, he must have been mad that this allowed the Sox to win the game. Number 18. Next, we look at Butterfingers over here. Now watch McNeil. Drops it once, picks it up, drops oh. it twice, tries again, drops it the third time. He fails to recover the ball, not once, not twice, but three unbelievable times. This is just embarrassing. Number 17. This is one of the most ridiculous home runs ever. Now he bunts. Trying it off the hill, barehanded pickup and a high throw over the head of Espinosa. The Hayters will hit third and hit for the plate, and the throw is wide. That's going to go into the dugout. Watch as the pitcher fluffs a catcher's bluff. As if that isn't bad enough, the pitcher's team is rendered helpless as their opponents proceed to steal a home run. Number 16. This player fails to score a home run. Rodriguez drives a pitch to center field, sends Springer back. Julio off the wall. Rodriguez is going for third. He'll dive in. No! Fortunately for him, he isn't able to make it to third base after tripping on his feet. Aquaman here tries to swim to third base. No more Aquaman before games, guys. Number 15. Here we have Javi Baez, whose ineptitude on the ball field has earned him an unwanted reputation in the game. Today, he decided to carry out one of his stunts during one of the most important games of his career. This one to center, and Baez doesn't know how many outs there are. Another mistake by Javier Baez. How does he not know how many outs there were? How is this guy a pro? Number 14. How do you send your teammate to the hospital? Well, this is how. Right side, long run for Garcia on a slide, and Willie. He got kicked in the, the face. Ball, lost the ball. Number 13. How do you blind yourself during a baseball game? Well, this guy knows how. Now Evan Longoria with a chance to put the Rays out in front. Oh, no. oh he buzzed himself. Number 12. How do you get a player kicked off the pitch despite actually making it to base? Holiday, fly to deep center. And he's out. How about that? Helton faked him out. Well, that's how. You always have to stick to the fundamentals. Now he's out. Number 11. We watch as a player smashes the ball out of baseball. There he goes. The throw from Zanino into Akil Badu at second base. I mean, I don't think Akil Badu did anything wrong whatsoever. It's just right there, and Jimenez does a nice job of coming up into the line there. That had to hurt. Number 10. Taking a hit on the cherries may hurt, but it cannot hurt as much as scoring a point for the opposing team. 1-1. One, one. This in the air out to right field. Adele was in, angling back. He gets there. Whoa! And he just... Butterfingers here help the opposition with the home run by knocking the ball over the fence. Great job, buddy. Number 9. Let's get airborne as we watch as this player tries to prevent a home run. Jason Hayward in the air, slicing into foul territory. Hector Gomez, look out. Oh my god. It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope, it's just a man who thinks he can fly. Superman wishes he could. Number 8. After smashing through a pitch, this player does his best to run through the bases. Unfortunately, he trips over his own feet. What a fail. 
Even his team hilariously reenacted his death. And right around here, Braun was in his stride just a little bit had he been able to keep him stay on his feet. He will surely be remembered. Number 7. As lighthearted as we might be about the last clip, things take a serious turn. And Gillard hits one back toward the middle. Sosa to his left. Nice play. Spin a Rama, but he throws it away. Hits the. Oh! He hit the first base umpire. Oh, no. When an absurd play almost sends an umpire to the hospital. Okay, that had to hurt. Number six. It's pretty simple. You're about to witness one of the worst pitches in MLB history. That's a buses. No way he's a pro. Number 5. As bad as that pitch was, at least it wasn't bad enough for the entire city of Chicago to launch your head. Harris takes off and a fly ball to right. And Bradley plays it off to the side. And he better, he doesn't know how many outs there are. He just throws the ball into the bleachers. That's only the second out of the inning. After catching a hit, he throws the ball into the crowd, only to realize that this was only the second out. Where on earth was he standing like that anyways? Number 4. Let's take a look at some of the worst swings in the history of the entire MLB. Late, late swing by Hamilton as he strikes out. Not everyone has the grace of the Jedi. Number 3. This is the worst play in the history of the World Series. As the Red Sox were trying to win Game 6 of the series, the Red Sox fumbled the ball despite leading in the 10th inning. And it's going to go to the backstop. Here comes Mitchell to score the tied run. And Ray Knight is in second base. This pitch would end up costing them the entire series. Number 2. What would beat the dumbest play in World Series history? How about two dumb plays being carried out by the same player? Two pitch. And a fly ball. Deep left. Ozuna back scales the wall. And it drops. Just look at this brother. Who told this guy he was Spider Man? Number one, the dumbest play in MLB history. All bro over here had to do was stop on the first base and the game was over. Not only did this gaff cost him his place with the Pittsburgh Pirates, it also forced him to continue his career in Korea. What a mess.